Hi, welcome back to Sneak Peek into the studio. So my name is Jody. I'm from Yoga by the Lake, and you're up in my studio right now behind the scenes of the creation process. Every second Saturday of each month, I host a creative wellness retreat. You can sign up for that and come and visit the studio. We practice different modalities of yoga, different exercises, and there's always a new theme and an art project to go along with it. If you're interested in more information, you can check that out on my website. So today, I'm going to be working out of this beautiful... Uh, journal we created together looking at this I have some ideas so I'm just gonna cut out a piece from my journal this piece is very pretty, but it got left out. I'm just going to flatten it back up. This is a really nice pattern to start with. It kind of reminds me of maybe some kind of shiny beetle or something like that. So I'm going to be creating some printmaking. I'm a big fan of these styrofoam sheets to do my printmaking on. And for today, maybe I'll explore with some of the metallic paints over on top of this. I'm not really sure what my ink up will be. I'm going to use a reference image. And let's look up different beetles. Not the rock band. <laughs> Insect. <laughs> that was funny. It came up with the Beatles as in the band. Okay, so there are many to choose from. I kind of, this is a dung beetle. I was thinking more like a scarab. Oh, Japanese beetles, I get those in my garden all the time. I wonder if we can find like that very classic looking scarab. I think here's pretty good. So when we're working with the styrofoam, what I do is I use a pencil and I push pretty hard into the styrofoam. Not so hard that I'm breaking through to the other side, but enough so that my pencil is leaving a mark on the uh, paper. So I'm gonna do, maybe I'll do a few in some different sizes. So I recently went through the Challenger, um, like the virtual races, and I won my first award, and it was my first medal for, it was like 46 miles or something, um, and they're virtual challenges. And so with that challenge, they sent me my medal and it had a little scarab beetle in it. So I was like, oh, that's pretty. Like I should do something related to that. That's a really interesting design and it's very much about the natural world. Um, yeah, so I've never really drawn a scarab beetle, but I was like, you know, we'll give it a shot. I cut the legs off and the reason I did was it was just gonna be I think um, really hard to stamp and print these with the legs still attached so I took them off and I will add them with a different medium onto the paper when I'm ready so I have these metallic paints I like to use um, they're made for fabric but they actually do a pretty good job when printing because they're a little on the thinner side they are a permanent fabric paint but I do find that they wash up pretty well um, especially if they don't have the 24-hour cure time to sit those are my colors and normally I use a brayer or a roller to thin out the ink to make my print today I'm going to be working just with a paintbrush 
As soon as I paint it on the stamp, I'm going to go ahead and do my print. So I'm going to get pretty messy with this. And I'm just going to do a really light coat. I can even leave it right here. And just do a really light coat of this metallic color did they say this was? Silver gray. I'm going to leave them so you can see them. Okay, so I have quite a bit of paint on here. I'm going to take a little bit off. And I'm going to do my first print. I've had some success with this, but I've also had it turn out very messy. So we'll see what happens. Regardless, it'll make for a very interesting texture on the paper, which I can use later on. Okay. Not bad. A little hard to see. It came out. Needs the legs. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think that the different metallics created a really interesting effect on the paper and the colors go well together. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, everything printed really nicely. Now I just need some more detail. They're, these little scarab beetles, they look great. They're very shiny and bright, just like we would think of them to be. However, I really believe that I need to come in with more detail. So I have a couple of Sharpie markers here that I'm going to come in and just add a little bit of line work and see how that turns. So all of my line work is done and I really can't see anywhere else to really add anything at this time. I feel pretty good about this artwork. Um, it was definitely a labor of love. There was a lot of line work to do. Um, let's 
stamps. So the thing with the stamps is sometimes you can get a really detailed stamp and then other times you kind of have to come back in with some sort of pen, ink, maybe watercolor or something like that just to give it a little bit of pop so that you can see what's going on. I love how metallic and shiny the insects are for this. Um, I think this helps to create more like like design. A lot of times insects you'll see are very shiny and they have that coating on their shell. So I like it a lot. I like the color scheme and I think this one's a winner. It'll be really interesting to see how this translates onto the computer. I'm gonna show you the close up so that you can take a peek. So you can see all the detail. What was kind of the point today? And it's a uh, really unique. It's a really unique design and the shine is just so cool. Getting that metallic look on the computer is going to be pretty tough. I'm not expecting that it will be uh, on there. Um, I think this came out great. I might deckle the edges. If I was to hang this up, when I go to mount it, I might just tear and deckle these edges with a faux deckle uh, just to give it some, some more um, texture there. I'm pretty happy with this scarab piece and how it turned out. I can't wait to move it onto the computer, keep working on it, and see where I could improve and change some things. And all in all, I'm really happy with this piece. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Sneak peek into the studio. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, if you enjoy seeing what I'm working on up in the studio. I would really appreciate that. And I hope you have a warm and wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you next week. Bye.